Look, man, I ain't get a chance to watch the game last night, so I don't really know how it happened. I don't know everything that went down. We, my phone got a couple of alerts for some plays that happened, but I ain't really pay no mind to it. But I know what happened and what ended up happening. So fly, Eagles, fly. Shout out to y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for this wonderful opportunity because something that I do know that went down is the Baltimore Ravens woke up in first place. Not in the... AFC North. No, 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 no. Well, that too. But in the entire AFC conference. And that is a beautiful thing. That 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 is a wonderful thing. First place over the Kansas City Chiefs. First place over those eight. Hey, those, those sneaky Jaguars. Hey, watch, watch out for them Jaguars too. First place over them Dolphins. Even though I know Dolphins been beating up on some bad teams when they play against good teams, it ain't look so good. But first place over everybody in the AFC, man. So the currently the number one seed. Now one thing about this is great. It's a great position to be in, but a couple of things. Uh, Ravens have to maintain. But when you think about it, like, besides 2020, Ravens have been doing this. They, they found themselves, like, whether it's first place in the AFC North or the number one overall seed in, in the AFC. They have been here multiple times, but the thing is, where, where they've, I guess, went wrong yet, uh, it's just been the past couple of years where Lamar got hurt. Cause they they when Lamar plays, they're here. They, this is familiar territory for the Baltimore Ravens, but we know how the past couple seasons went. But this season, this will be different. This will be different, and it's really all about maintaining, man. It's all about maintaining in more ways than one. Uh, it's all about obviously Lamar Jackson maintaining his health, and we've seen like just the way how he plays because for us <laughs> when you just watching a game live it can be frustrating at times it can be like man Lamar take off go hey it's open lane for you run or even when he is running it's like oh man Lamar why you ain't saucing him up like that why you ain't shaking him like that what, what you doing man so we'll, so we'll see he seemed to be a little bit reserved sometimes but then when you think about it oh yeah 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 he, he playing the long game He's playing a long game because he knows. I mean, we know how the last two seasons have went, and he ain't been there at the end. So with him here, and if he's he's here, expected to be here through the whole season, that changes everything for the Ravens. Because I remember talking to um my guy Jason in the off season, uh, and we talked about how the Ravens just they haven't gotten to have <coughs> excuse me closure, proper closure to the ending of the seasons because Lamar hasn't been there. So. Even though there have been different injuries at different places on the team, you know with Lamar, like, if they got Lamar out there, they can make mess with anybody. We know that. Um, but w with him not being out there, like, we haven't got to see how good or how far this Ravens team can truly go. This year, with Lamar healthy, and we're seeing the, the Ravens are just doing stuff that the Ravens normally do. They are normally, whether they're at the top, close to the top, this is familiar territory for them. So, not in an arrogant way or anything like that. But we are not surprised that they ended up being, for now at least, the top seed. Because it's still long. It's a long way to go. It's a long. <laughs> Who you know the Ravens? For, they go for some, some, some frustrating games. But the thing is, they done got some frustrating games out that system already. So, they done had some games where it's like, what are you doing, man? They done got it out that system, though. Uh, hopefully they got them all out there system and ain't no more frustrating games moving forward. But the Baltimore Ravens, they um they in a really good position right now. And this is like the, the this is the perfect scenario for them. Because once again, like again for like the third year in a row, th they are in position to hold it down. They uh they control their own destiny. Oh boy, I, I ooh, we we about to get tired of hearing them say that them commentators say, Oh my goodness, it's coming though. It's coming. It's on the way. Well, I guess I ain't gonna really be able to hear it much because you know when we stream the game we gotta turn the volume down because we don't want no copyright. So I guess in any of y'all that watch the games and you hear the commentators, you you're gonna be hearing that a lot very, very soon. They control their own destiny. But it's true. The Baltimore Ravens they do control their own destiny because, yeah, they do. They, with them being in first, as long as they don't lose another game, the number one overall seed is theirs. Home field advantage is theirs. That's it. That's And I know that's a tough task. And that's like, it's not impossible. Like, you got, what, six games left? Yeah, you got six games left. So, it's possible is it likely? Well, let's see. They they got the ability to do, they got the team to do it. 
But will they do it? <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Because you know these Ravens, boy. They, <laughs> you know these Ravens. We know these Ravens. But hopefully, um, they can hold it down, man. Hopefully they can. Because home field, and, and, and look, I know some a lot of y'all like, oh, no, we want to be underdogs. We want to be the underdog. We don't want number one overall seed. We don't want home field advantage. We want to be a six seed. No. Forget 2019, man. Forget it. Scrap that. Scrap, not on, well, you can't forget it. I mean, that was a historical season. But look, man, 2019 is done. Let it go. Let it go. You should want home field advantage for your Baltimore Ravens. You should. You really should. Did y'all not like hear how loud it was on that on that Thursday night football game? Like my wife, she has watched plenty of Ravens games on the TV. She has watched plenty of them, and that was the very first time that she told me she's like, "Man, it's so loud there. It's so loud. like she could hear how loud everybody was through the TV." Home field advantage makes a difference, man. Home crowd makes a difference. There were two two timeouts. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. There were two timeouts. Like my voice still recovering. There were two timeouts that the Bengals called because of how loud it was. Two. 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 That's big. Them time, you, know, you know them timeouts are valuable. They, are, they called two t- just because they were so loud there. They could not hear each other. So you telling me you don't want that? Like, I, And I feel like a lot of Ravens fans, They um, I, I don't know Ravens been like an underdog for a lot of the years of their ex- existence, but it's time to forget all that. It's time to really embrace being a, a top team It's time to do that man They need to do that And they But I, and I think they need to learn How to do it Because remember When, they, when everybody started Talking about the Ravens Like crazy That's when the Ravens Be like oh, oh no You making me shy And then they play shy And then they end up losing Like they did in the Browns game Right before that Browns game Everybody boosting them up And that's what I was scared of Going into that Browns game Everybody boosting Ravens up Oh yeah Best team in the league Another right ah. What they go out Against the Browns and do They lost And the way they lost too, ugh, Ugly Ugh but anyway, um, I think Ravens and Ravens fans should embrace them being a top team. You need to learn how to embrace it. The underdog thing is cool, but you're not an underdog. Ravens are not no underdog. Ravens are not a team that's being slept on. Ravens are not a team that needs to be slept on because they got a, really, a lot of good players in a lot of good positions, man. They really do. They really do. So, yeah, no more underdog, man. I mean, you the number one seed. You ain't no underdog as no number one seed. So, yeah, you ain't got no choice but to accept it, but to embrace it, but to allow it. So, shout out to the Baltimore Ravens for handling their business and put them themselves in. The, like, hey, Philly helped out. They helped out big time. So, shout out to y'all. But the Ravens, they helped themselves out by winning enough games, by losing a couple of but by winning enough games to where they, they are in this position. Um, So, says a lot of. Excuse me Says a lot about that team man Says a lot about About the Baltimore Ravens Says a lot about uh, Just their squad man The fact that they are In the position that they are in uh, This is a beautiful thing But yeah Now it's all about maintaining Now it's all about Alright what you gonna do next Are you gonna hold it down Or are you gonna keep The position That you're in I haven't looked at The rest of the Chiefs schedule I know the Chiefs right It's a lot of teams right there though It's a lot of Brown, Browns are close Chiefs are close Dolphins are close Jaguars are close uh, And I know it's more too But AFC race is tight, man. It, it really is. And the Ravens play a couple of those teams. They're going to play the Jaguars in a couple of weeks. They're going to play the Dolphins at the end of the season. You know, got a tough game coming uh, coming up against the Chargers in a couple days. A little more than a couple days, but you get what I'm saying. So, while Ravens are the number one seed, now they're going to have to prove it that they're the number one seed. Well, not prove it because they are the number one seed right now, but they're going to have to hold it down. So the, 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 the job gets tougher The job gets tougher Because you play Justin Herbert and them And I know they've been falling Coming up short and whatnot, But still they're going to bring it and, and we talked about it before Going against a, the Chargers team That ain't got nothing to lose on prime time Yeah, they're going to be pulling out everything Everything, I guarantee it um, You're going against Tua Tua nice, I, I, I like Tua He's nice Again, Dolphins against a good team. They ain't been so good. So hopefully that continues when they play Ravens. Well, that's later on in the season. You got, you're going up against Steelers. The first game of 2024. You're going against the Pittsburgh Steelers. We don't even know what time it's at yet. 
Because, you know, NFL, like, though, that's a bunch of division games, and they're going to have the game that have playoff implications uh, later on in the game and they because they want every – Every slot to count, like the one o'clock games to count, the four p.m. games to count, and the Sunday night football game to count. They want they want everything to count because they want everybody watching. So that's why they don't put out put out the time for the, the the week eighteen games. That's why they don't do that yet. They wait till the last 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 minute. Um. So yeah, but you play a, an annoying Steelers team because that's what they are. They annoying. They are very annoying. So you play them. Um. Who else we play? I forgot who else we play besides Chargers, Steelers, uh, and and uh, whoever else I just mentioned. Oh, Dolphins. Besides Chargers, Steelers, and Dolphins, I forgot who else we play. But I know it's gonna be tougher. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but shout out to the Ravens, number one seed right now, baby. And they don't need to look back. No more underdog stuff.